Now that the Bifrost Bridge is open, and the gods have been freed in Asgard, we can turn our attention to locating Odin. The last we heard, Odin was heading toward Niflheim to battle the Frost Giants. I doubt he's in trouble. But just to be sure, your next mission is to go to Niflheim to see if Odin needs help. For more information on helping Odin, talk to Lady Sif. If you want to leave right now, take the well to Niflheim. Hello. Is there something I can... Raven Spire is located there, and that's supposed to possess some very strange mystical powers. It's also rumored to be the place where Odin hid the Destroyer armor. It's an enchanted armor created by Odin that's supposed to activate at Ragnarok. The truly unique thing about this is, you don't wear it. You project your consciousness into it. When a person comes in contact with the Destroyer, his mind leaves his body and enters the armor. The person's body then becomes motionless. No one's even damaged it, and a lot of very powerful people have tried. Usually the wearer's body has to be found, or somehow the person has to be tricked into leaving the armor. Hey, anytime. Greetings, and welcome back. How may I be? Dr. Doom is the head of the group, but his lieutenants are Ultron, Baron Mordo, and Enchantress. Only very recently, since the attack on the Helicarrier. I believe we will soon find out his ultimate reason for taking up with them. She is a goddess of the Asgard realm, who is considered to be quite powerful. Her primary magic deals with mind control by means of seduction. Yes, it is said one kiss from her will turn a man into her servant. That may explain why her henchman the Executioner follows her every whim. He is a mechanical being who's convinced that all biological forms of life are inferior. He was originally created by Hank Pym to be his assistant. Ultron was built to learn and adapt. Unfortunately he became fully sentient and rebelled against Dr. Pym. As a part of his evil schemes, he created me. Yes, I am a synthesoid created by Ultron to be one of his followers. My body was based on the original robotic human torch, while my mind is patterned after Wonder Man. I was able to see the error of Ultron's philosophy and decided it was incorrect. It was then I joined the Avengers. Feel free to return if you require additional information. I would warn you to be careful in Niflheim. It is a land of great magic and unusual creatures. It is populated mostly by frost giants but you might also meet up with Vola. She is a prophetess who is quite adept at predicting the future. Apparently it is a land of great magic, most notably Raven Spire. The towering peak is a focal point of Asgardian powers. It could be. Rumor has it a sorcerer of his powers could perform some incredible magic there. It was my pleasure. Hello, Storm. Is the team prepared for the mission to Niflheim? Don't worry, Colonel. We're ready. Thanks to your having freed the gods, the situation is slowly coming under control. Most definitely. There were quite a few gods who had been on Earth that were able to return through Bifrost and help in the battle to retake Asgard. Only a madman would attempt something like that. Odin's the single most powerful god in Asgard. While I appreciate your guessing at Doom's motives, I have top men looking into that right now. All this idle speculation is gaining us nothing. It was no problem. By your command. Greetings, human. 
I would ask that you travel to Niflheim to see how Odin fares. We have not heard from him in quite some time. Odin in danger? Very doubtful. But he could require assistance. He has gone there to quell an army of frost giants who seek to take full control of that land. Yes, he has taken Gungnir, the Spear of Heaven. It is golden, has three prongs, and is made of Uru, the metal Thor's hammer is made of. They are huge creatures native to the frozen land of Niflheim. For eons, they have been the enemy of the Asgardian gods. Though simple-minded, frost giants are cunning and violent. They are also extremely strong and are a match for almost any god. The strongest of them is their leader, Ymir. He is one of the oldest creatures in all of Asgard and the very first frost giant. Being the first, he differs from his followers. He is covered in frost and is able to generate intense cold. Ymir is also incredibly strong. It was my pleasure. Thor, it does my heart good to see you back amongst the gods. Hermod, my friend, I am pleased you did not fall in the attack on Asgard. Aye, but I bring bad news from the Bifrost Bridge. The Wrecking Crew has closed the gates to Midgard, stopping any reinforcements from joining us. Worry no longer, Hermod. We shall go to Bifrost and reopen the gates. Certainly. Wow! Talk about a mind-blower! How could Nick have kept that information from us? How could he not tell us he suspected what Doom's plans were all along? Ah, we may take shots at each other, but it's all in fun. Johnny's a good kid, even if he is like a little yipping poodle most of the time. Nah, you got it all wrong. I love the little darling. I only get the urge to clobber him once in a while. No problem. Hey, uh, could you, uh, go talk to Valkyrie and, you know, see if she's interested in getting to know me a little better? Oh, please. If there's one thing I know, it's women. I've got like a sixth sense, and I'm thinking Valkyrie's got her eye on me. Eh, I've had enough of the place. Now that I'm done with this job, I'm splitting. <laughs> like I tell you, then Fury'd find out and he'd throw me in prison. <sighs> Once things have cooled down, I'll contact you for my pay. Don't I know it? Certainly. I don't know about you, but I'm plenty steamed at fury. Why'd he leave us in the dark about this whole Imperium thing? 
me? <laughs> I've been a part of just about anything you could name. The Avengers, Alpha Flight. Heck, I've even been a horseman of Apocalypse. Oh yeah, the bad guys have managed to get their hooks into me a couple of times. The hand's been the most recent. They brainwashed me and turned me into an enemy of the state. I was running around attacking everyone I used to work with. Thanks to Fury, I got back to myself. Then, Elektra and I went and paid the Hand a little visit, just to set things straight. No problem. Okay by me? Hi. Yes, when I was pregnant with him, I stepped down from active duty, and a crystal took my place in the Fantastic Four. She's one of the Inhumans. While Crystal was a member of the team, she was Johnny's girlfriend. But, as things tend to go with my brother, it wasn't a long-lasting relationship. They were the results of the Kree having experimented on humans during our Stone Age. Their goal was to build an army of super soldiers to aid in the war against the Skrull. The Kree did succeed in creating humans with supernatural abilities, but they abandoned the experiment. And the Inhumans are the result. It was my pleasure. Got it. I remember you. Weren't we on that one mission where we did that one thing against that one guy and we won? Oh yeah, me and Weasel go way back. I saved him from a life of drudgery, working at some high-paying job. Thanks to me, he's now hiding out in rat holes and dodging bullets as a mercenary of the Information Highway. Tell me about it. I mean, who needs a cushy job and security when you can have adventure and the promise of a short life? He's like the ultimate Boy Scout. Unless, of course, money's involved. He'd sell his grandma's walking cane for a buck. As a matter of fact, I bought his grandma's walking cane for a buck. Oh yeah, 100%. Maybe. A bit. No. He's probably making it all up. Ooh! Wanna hear me play the 1812 Overture with my armpit? By your command. Your friend Weasel continues to stare at me. Interested. Romantically? Please. I just ate. This is absurd. How could a toad like that even think he is worthy of the affections of the great Valkyrie? In years gone by, I was able to gather warriors from Earth. But I was recently told we were no longer allowed to do that. It was by order of Odin. An order I do not agree with. But it is not my place to argue with the mightiest of the gods. I assume you are joking. I would sooner stick both hands in the mouth of Fenris as talk to that pasty-faced human. Nay, I say to you. He smells of greasy food, and breathes through his mouth. I bid thee good day, human. So, did Valkyrie say anything about me? Don't I know? That password you gave me into Black Widow's account was perfect. I got all the info I need to prove she's a traitor. Well, 
Sweet little Black Widow has traveled to Latveria several times in the last few weeks. And uh, get this, a large amount of cash was recently wired to her account. Now Fury's gotta believe she's working for Doctor Doom. All right, I'm here. What was so important that we couldn't discuss it outside? Colonel Fury, we think Black Widow might be a spy for Doctor Doom. We found a laptop that belonged to Black Widow back on the helicarrier. It held detailed security information on a S.H.I.E.L.D. think tank known as the Imperium. We also discovered that large amounts of money have been transferred to her bank account, and she has recently made trips to Latveria. Why are you spying on my personnel when you should be focusing on the Masters of Evil? What's wrong with you, Fury? Didn't you hear a word they said? The Black Widow's selling the Imperium to Doom. You got it all wrong. Doom broke into the Imperium a month ago and stole some very top secret plans. Black Widow had that laptop because she'd been given the job of upgrading the security there. But what about the money and the trips to Latveria? I had sent her to Latveria in hopes of bribing one of Doom's people to get back a particular plan he stole. What is so important about this particular plan, Colonel? It's called Operation Allfather. It was developed in case the Asgardians ever became a threat to us. It dealt with stealing Odin's power by using the Twilight Sword. So that's what Doom's been up to. He's out to become the most powerful god in Asgard. And you knew all along. I was never completely sure. Well, I think you can be now. I only hope we didn't find out too late. Agreed. We had best get to Niflheim quickly and save Odin before Doom is able to complete his scheme. <laughs>